Diane Gawoluku is playing his final game as a BYU Cougar and as a beloved and fellow Northridge High School alumnus. It's going to be tough to see him go. He's played a huge part in a lot of big games for BYU. It is Senior Day Part 2 for him, and he had a special guest interrupt this conversation. We're two-on-one BYU Sports Nation All Access with Diane Gunwoloku. Diane, I was just uh, recounting with uh, Deputy Athletic Director Brian Santiago that I'm pretty sure this is the greatest press conference that I've ever attended, and I don't think I'll ever have a better backdrop. What do you, what do you think of this uh, as you address the media here? Man, it's nice. Like, you can't go wrong with Hawaii. Better than, like, snow. The mountain's cool, but snow's not it. But this is awesome. You couldn't ask for anything better. What's the uh, last couple of days been like for you as you prepare for a game, but you get to experience Hawaii? It's nice. Like, we came here, I think, our bad season. I don't want to talk about it, but, you know, we consider that kind of like a bowl game went a little earlier. But this, like, actually having, like, a good winning season and coming out here, playing against Hawaii, a good Hawaii team, uh, it's the best. Like, I don't know where else, I think where else you can go. Like, Idle Potato Bowl was good, but, you know, it wasn't the best like this. You feel me? The background, the family here, uh, being with your team, it's the last time. This is the best you could ask for. And didn't you go snorkeling with the uh, dolphins and saw a shark or something? I did. Like, I don't mess with the water. You don't know what you don't know what's in the ocean. Like, but you know, wifey made me go, and it was obviously it was fun. My first time doing it, and she's a big uh, adventure person. She gets me out there, but yeah, the dolphins are cool. But when the dude talks about sharks, like that's not it. <laughs> yes, when when the men in gray suits, which slang for sharks, show up, you, you don't want to be The men in gray suits? <laughs> you don't want to be would, there. What would you rather face, Cole McDonald and the Hawaii defense or the ocean? <laughs> the Hawaii defense, man. The Hawaii offense, sorry. Or oh, offense. Yeah. Well, I don't mess with sharks, man, or the ocean. You, <laughs> you don't know what's in there. Like, they say this is a safe area, but you don't know. The fishes could have changed their mind and come closer, so you... <laughs> P's and Q's. <laughs> Fish are like, what are we doing today? Yeah. <laughs> Diane, this is uh, quite the setup for you. One, you don't have any more homework. Yeah. Congratulations on finishing school. That's awesome. You're playing in Hawaii. Uh, but what are the emotions like as you approach your final game as a BYU Cougar? I mean, I just want to win. Like, the seniors, we worked all summer, all year to go to a bowl game. That's the main thing. And then win the bowl game. It's not, like I said, we're not, it's not a vacation. It's a business trip. And you can have fun with it, but... We're trying to have fun on the field, too, and that's the main thing. Just finish it off good with the boys. How have you been able to uh, perhaps focus on this team? Because it is a team you're somewhat familiar with. You've played Hawaii the last couple of years. You've beaten Hawaii two in a row. Um, how has that helped in the preparation for this one? Uh, we just, we've been practicing hard, like, since we found out we are playing Hawaii. Before we found out we are playing Hawaii, like, we've just been practicing hard. It's been every day, shells, helmets. Like, we've just been going at it, watching film, getting prepared, because they're going to be ready, too. And, we got to come out and make it a good game. What did the loss of San Diego State do to help your mental edge as a team as you prepare for this game? It hurt, but you got to move on. Like, it was a game I felt like we were ready for and we should have won, but it didn't turn out that way. So it just motivates us that much more to win this game because, you know, they're, they're in the Mountain West and that's a Mountain West team. So it's like we got to beat someone in their conference. What do you have to prove, if anything, in this game as, as you uh, approach the final game of the season? Me personally? And the team. Oh, um, me, the team, we just, like I said, we want to win the game. Like, winning a bowl game is a big thing, and it starts the next season off good. And if you, like, like I said, we want the seniors to get a win going out, and then the uh, lower classmen to know that this is a winnable team, and like, this is a good team, good program, and it helps the program and the recruiting. And for next year, they're going to come out ready once we win this game. How have you changed the most as a player in person since your time at BYU from day one until now? Uh, I just, I'm, a, I'm not that big of a vocal leader, but I feel like I became more of a vocal leader. And, like, you know, Micah, he's, he's that vocal leader. Like, but me, I just try to work and show that you can lead by example. And that's my big thing, just leading by example. Don't mess around during walkthroughs, stuff like that. Take everything, like, you're going to do in the game. Just practice like you don't play. Speaking of, we do have Micah Simon here. Let's bring in Micah. Micah, uh, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to commit a cardinal sin. I'm going to hand you the mic. So Whoa. We, are, we, we, can't go like, we can't go like four minutes, but uh, I know you, <laughs> you had some questions for Dan. All right, let's go. No. <laughs> Start walking down on the beach. <laughs> All right, one question for Diane. I think of the senior team. I think the senior group, one of the best groups we've had, one of the closest groups we've had. Me, JJ, 
Austin Lee, Talon, you, who else? <laughs> I love her. Man, I'll walk through, a, you know, I'd, I'd fight a shark for you guys, to be honest. Like, that's, that's what I lot. feel. That's saying a lot, because I don't mess with sharks. Ton. I don't mess with the ocean, but I'll go deep in the ocean for you guys, man. Like, that's all That's all there is to it. That's love right there. <laughs> that is love from <laughs> Diane Gonwalaku. I love it. Well done, Micah. You may have a future in this business. Don't hang out with us in the ball this year. <laughs> hey, BYU Sports <laughs> Nation. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And Bracken. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, no. Bracken's a big part of this. Seniors are a huge part of this. Okay. Uh, I'm glad both of you are here because we want to give you an early Christmas present. Some BYU Sports Nation karma yeah. for the SoFi Hawaii Bowl. So We don't hand that out easily. Oh, wait. We do. But we love you Only, only to great players. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Only. We'll take it. Okay. We need it. So take the blue-goggled BYU Sports Nation pre-Christmas Eve karma. Do you want the blue-goggles ice cream? Hey, after this game, I think we could give it to you. Compliance. Yes. They graduate. Then we can just give it to them. <laughs> just give them some we have ice, our cream. Own ice cream. We'll give it to you. Yeah. I'm down for it. Yeah. I'm down for it. You're cool for that. I love ice cream. Let's do it. Okay. All right. A couple of great seniors. Great to talk with you guys. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you. Mike, give it back. Give it back. Give it back. <laughs>